All right, so we have here a computer that is starting up with this message. So I'm going to do a troubleshooting um, as we go. So I haven't had a look at the system yet. Let's see if we can have a look what's going on. So what I recommend always, go into BIOS and see uh, see what's what device you're booting from. So I'm going to hold Control or Delete and press the Delete keys on the keyboard. Go into BIOS. Let's get an idea of the configuration. Client said there is a C drive uh, that is a Samsung SSD and there are other hard drives in there as well. Let's check the boot order. Usually the boot order has an issue or maybe Windows is corrupted. Okay, so this is the BIOS. Every BIOS is different. What we want to do, we want to go into... Uh, let's have a look. So this is all fine. Looking at the settings here. Okay, so boot option one. So it is already trying to boot from the Samsung SSD, so that is good. Boot option two, okay, and hard drive priorities. Mm, nothing, okay. And what do we got here? Fast boot, nope. Okay. I have about SATA configuration. AHCI, okay. Sometimes if you play around with this setting, it may get it to boot. But here we can see there is a Kingston SSD, Samsung SSD, 4 terabyte Seagate, and a Hitachi 1 terabyte. And so we've got 2, 3, 4, 4 hard drives in this computer. Okay, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this uh, SATA configuration. Just change it to IDE mode and just boot from here, just to see what happens. It won't kill the computer. Uh, okay, let's reboot. Same. So let's go back and change that setting again. That looks pretty cool. Okay, cable wasn't in all the way. Let's change that setting back again. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to boot the computer into Linux platform just to verify that the file system is okay. So I'm going to boot the computer from a USB, Ubuntu. Okay. Now I boot the computer, uh, restart, restarted the computer, press F12 in this particular motherboard that brought the boot options and I'm gonna boot from the Ubuntu, here we go. Ooh, look at that, we got a message there that one of the hard drives is potentially failing. Do you see that? I'll zoom in. Mmm, let's have a look. Okay, excuse the camera, I haven't got a proper setup yet. Okay. So, if you've got a 120 gig SSD, which is healthy, 500 gig SSD, which is healthy, and this guy, one terabyte, not mounted. Hmm. It's failing. Four terabyte, and that's our good USB. Okay. Let's have a look what's in the... That's where the operating system is. Let's go and have a look what's happening to the file system. See if all the files are there. Looks like they are there. Okay. So we can see the files. So that's good news. So we're going to go and try and repair 
using Macrium. So let's go. Power off. Power off. And I love Macrium. Very cool. You can download for free. And I uh, should have a USB. Here we go. Okay. I've downloaded Macrium, made a bootable USB, and I'll show you how you can use this to repair that message. F12 again. All right, I've got my USB in there. This one supports UEFI, so I'm going to go through that. Okay, this is the hmm. So this is the Seagate four terabyte, one twenty gig. That was the SSD. How about the one terabyte Hitachi? There it is. Something's on here. Hmm. So this is a failing hard drive, and it does look like it has a some kind of a, a Windows file system on it, because this one and this one are generally created by uh, Windows ten. Okay, so our problem is with this guy here. So what we're going to do, go into other tasks. Uh, here we go. Under restore, fix Windows boot problems. I'll bring it up closer. There we go. I think it will scan for Windows file system. If it finds it, great. Windows 7 Ultimate, that's what he said he had. Okay, let's go. I think okay so it should boot from the biggest space oh, okay so going back to here primary C drive that's where it should boot from oops you can't see that there we go okay it brought me this list and uh, from here we choose well that's our SSD that's where we're booting from disk number four next there we go it's gonna do all of this now this is quite dangerous make sure you have a backup the customer said they already have a backup so i'm gonna go ahead with this Ooh. so that's got some kind of a problem okay restart yeah why not give it a go now just so we're confirming we're starting from the right hard drive i'm gonna press f12 again and eject my usb eject it okay rebooting again f12 again and i'm gonna i'm gonna make sure i'm booting from my samsung ssd Ooh, okay here we go that's not good uh, okay i'm gonna try that one more time sometimes running it again may help okay restart again f12 hmm it didn't detect the usb i plugged it in the front before now i'm gonna plug it in the back f12 again same process Let's go through that again.
Okay, so here we go. Mm. Something is the same. Other tasks, uh, restore, fix Windows problems. C drive, this one here. And we're gonna tell it to boot from there again. Yeah, that is correct. Let's go. Okay, it keeps filing update partition boot sector restart. Yes, it's most likely going to fail. Okay, this time we're going to boot from Windows 7 um, USB. You can also restart from your Windows 7 disk. Okay, great, it's not frozen now. Alright, so I'm running the standard commands. Yes, okay, so that should allow me to build into Windows. Cross fingers, here we go. And the mouse started working. Okay, let's see. <sighs> that looks promising. Mmm, nice. That was very quick. So we are making progress. <laughs> 